either here in Cannes with uh, Yuri Faja and Antoine Rio, we, we are going to present you Requiem Vampire Night, the game, no on Kickstarter. To start with, you'll play the initiation game. You replace the pirate ghouls on the left of your screen with zombie soldiers. And I will play the resurrectionist vampires on the opposite side. Don't shuffle the deck before playing. You'll find first the vampires fighting and moving guard, and the ghouls fighting and moving guards too. We also have one capital and three soldiers for each player. The next guards are the 21 territories that compose the board. They are in a precise order for the initiation game. The vampire player, I, will make the board. Taking the cards white face up, put a first line of three cards. Then three lines of five. The central land will be a dimensional sliding. A particular land which provide only one resource, but one of your choice. Any other land provides two resources among four. You have blood, magic, gold, and science. Finish the board with a new line of three territories. Once the board is made, you put your capital and the three soldiers on the central land of the first line in front of you. This is all the material you need to play the initiation game and learn the basic rules. In the rulebook, you'll read that ghouls have initiative of 3 and vampires of 5. Vampires player will start. The aim of the game is to reach the capital of the opponent, or destroy his 3 soldiers. During my turn, I can do 3 actions in the order I choose. Moving up to 3 soldiers, tapping lands to get resources and activate my cards, and fighting opponent soldiers. At the beginning, each soldier has a movement of one territory. So I will start by moving my soldiers. The first one on the limbo's ear to have two magics. The second on the suburb to have one blood and one magic more. It is not required to move each three soldiers, but I will also move my third one to prepare the next step. All my soldiers moved, so I will not tap the land I need. I tap these two lands to have four resources, three magics and one blood. These are exactly the resources I need to activate the first card of each type. I flip the two cards, the fighting level 1 and the moving level 1. We'll see the bonuses once we use it. I have no fight to make, so my turn ends now. This is Gold's turn. You remove two soldiers, one territory. And taps two lands, Thanatos and Dark Arbor. He can so activate the first card of each type. As we see, he can choose to move only two soldiers and tap the land where stands its capital. Yuri has no fight neither, so it's my turn. My moving card gives me a bonus of one territory more if I start with a land. A land is a territory with a white border. Once you flip it, you get a rune with a black border. But I will not use my bonus at this turn. My first soldier will go on the next territory, battlefield to get the resources for my second moving guard. For the second fighting guard, I need three resources. I have to tap at least two lands to activate it. This is why I will move one soldier on Lolava, and the last one on the dimensional sliding to have the resource of my choice. My soldier will not tap the land where they stand. Lolava to have two gold, Dimensional sliding to have the resource of my choice here, one blood. And battlefield to have one magic and one science. These are exactly all the resources I need to activate the next card of each type. 
I flip the cards and put them on the first cards of the same type. It replaces. This will end my turn, Yuri to play. Yuri will move three soldiers. Tap three lands. And activate his two next cards. It's my turn. My soldiers are next to Yuri's ones. So there may be a fight. I should choose to activate my next card to be stronger. But since the soldier cannot tap and fight in the same turn, I have to choose. To begin with, I will move. The first one using my bonus of two more territories if it starts with a land. It can so move three territories and ends next to Yuri's capital. I move my two other soldiers to end in two of Yuri's soldiers' territories. I will now do my fighting action. On the two territories, I have one soldier with one point strength. So does Yuri. My card gives me a bonus of one point more to attack. And Yuri's one point more to defend on ruins, black border territories. So we are equal. In that case, attacker wins. Yuri's soldiers are destroyed and put out of the board next to his capital. They will reappear on Yuri's capital at the end of his next turn. Yuri's turn. Since he cannot move in diagonal, he moves his last soldier to territories with his moving bonus to end on my soldier territory. There is so a fight. He has 3 point strength, I have 2, he wins, my soldier is out. Then, at the end of his turn, his 2 soldiers reappear on his capital. To win the game, I must defeat the 2 soldiers on Yuri's capital territory. 2 soldiers, that is to say 2 point strength, plus the 1 point card bonus, 3 points. Since I cannot move two territories when I start with a rune, I can't gather two soldiers on Yuri's capital to win the fight. So I will retreat on land where I am stronger. And in that purpose, I will gather my second soldier to the first. This is then the end of my turn. My first soldier reappears on my capital. Yuri's turn. You removes his three soldiers to stand in strategical places. My turn. If a soldier of mine gets in a territory where I stand an opponent, this soldier must stop his movement to fight. So. I can't move my soldier and use my bonus to end in the capital and win the game. I will then move a soldier to get the resources I need. I tap two lands and get one of each resource. I can activate my last moving card. I didn't use the fourth resource. It is lost at the end of my turn. It's Yuri to play. Yuri moves two soldiers using his bonus. The first one will move to a land so he could tap it. The second will stand on the dimensional sliding to block my movements. He taps two lands to get the resources he needed to activate his third fighting card. It's my turn. I move my three soldiers to gather them in the middle of the board and fight the opponent's soldier. I have one, two, three points strength, plus one with my card, four points. Yuri has only one soldier with a bonus of two points. He is free, he loses. 
his soldier is removed from the board. You return. You remove this first soldier to get next to my capital. The second comes to fight on the emotional sliding. He has a bonus of 3, he is 4 points strength. I have a bonus of 1, and 3 soldiers. I am 4. In case of a tie, attacker wins. My 3 soldiers are removed from the board. And I lose, I have no more soldiers on the board. Ghouls win!